Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Tuesday, January 4. Good to be back together to uh, continue our journey through the book of Psalms. This is a journey we've been, uh, wow, we're, uh, I guess it's a little too early to, just, to say we're closing in on two years, but uh, in about a month or two, it'll have been two years since we started doing uh, these 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 uh, four days a week. <laughs> they're not really daily devotionals, but four days a week, they're daily. Uh, these devotionals, looking through the book of Psalms, we've done a few other things, but mostly have spent our time in the Psalms. Uh, we pick up the year 2022, right where we left off. And today we're going to look at Psalm 111. Grateful that you have been a part of this journey together. So let's take a look at Psalm 111. I want to invite you to take a moment to uh, quiet your hearts and settle your minds, and then we'll explore this psalm together. Psalm 111, <clears throat> hallelujah, I give thanks to God with everything I've got. Wherever good people gather and in the congregation, God's works are so great, worth a lifetime of study, endless enjoyment, splendor and beauty mark his craft. His generosity never gives out. His miracles are his memorial. The God of grace, this God of love, he gave food to those who fear him. He remembered to keep his ancient promise. He proved to his people that he could do what he said. Hand them the nations on a platter, a gift. He manufactures truth and justice. All his products are guaranteed to last, never out of date, never obsolete, rust proof. All that he makes and does is honest and true. He paid the ransom for his people. He ordered his covenant, kept forever. He's so personal and holy, worthy of our respect. The good life begins in the fear of God. Do that and you'll know the blessing of God. His hallelujah lasts forever. So a, uh, a psalm, actually one of the, the, the first of a handful of psalms that will focus on this word hallelujah, uh, which is a, a way of giving giving glory to God, hallel, uh, yah is Yahweh, hallel is praise, praise to God, praise to Yahweh, hallelujah. Uh, it's a way of naming the God that we praise and saying that, that this God has been faithful to us. And it's a good, it's a, it's a good thing to, to name the God we're praising because the reality is in our world there are so many alternatives to living, um, to, to living uh, in the purposes of God. Uh, there are competing gods, small g, if you will. Uh, you might call some of them the gods of success, the gods of money, the gods of power, the gods of influence and authority, the God of significance, the God of, of, of beauty, perhaps, or, uh, or appeal, or, or, or you can go on and on. And you see those gods, um, you just watch TV for a little bit and see what's being advertised. Uh, you know, not, not that they're inherently bad things, it's not a bad thing to, to, you know, some of these things aren't bad things inherently, but they so easily become most important things, and that's where it becomes a problem. That's where it becomes something put in the place of, uh, of God himself. And so, you know, it's not a bad thing here at, the <clears throat> here at the beginning of the year to step back and, and, and make the claim that this year we're, we're, we're going to live our lives for God's purposes and not for uh, the competing alternatives that exist in our world. So maybe that's what we want to dedicate ourselves to uh, here, here at the beginning of the year. Uh, just a reminder, as you can see the uh, wreaths and the, and the garland behind us, we're still in the season of Christmas for a few more days. Uh, on Thursday, uh, it will be Epiphany, and we will, we will move into the next season of the church year. But this is still a moment where we're 
where we're resting in the reality that God has come and lived among us and has shown <clears throat> his purposes and his being to us through, through Jesus Christ, God made flesh, God incarnate. Let's take a moment to pray for the day. Lord, we're so grateful that you have reached out to us in Christ. We're so grateful that you have made yourself known we're not people set adrift into the into the cosmos but are invited to live deeply and fully into the purposes that you have crafted and laid out Lord we thank you <clears throat> thank you for the advent and the Christmas seasons that we have been through and are on the verge of finishing we thank you for the ways you've shown yourself to us and for the the love and the grace that you've extended to us in this time. Thank you for reaching out to us, drawing us into your presence, reminding us that we're your people. Lord, the world is so full of angst, so full of, full of uh, conflict, dissension. It's full of anger, mistrust. Lord, help us to be people who, who boldly live into the possibility the reality that you are redeeming all things that it's not hopeless but in fact all is being caught up to what you're doing Lord help us to live that way today help us to be people of hope and joy and peace friends I invite you uh, to lift up <clears throat> whatever is on your heart today. Lord, hear our prayers. And so, Lord, we pray that, uh, that, that you will be with us this day. Go with us. Guide us. Be our, be our light. Be our hope. Be our peace. Thank you for all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we're back at it, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you. Stay warm. Stay safe. <laughs> keep, the, keep, keep the driveway shoveled, I guess. <laughs> Take care, and we'll see you soon.